In this video, I'm going to show you multiple things that you can do to change your game.ini file and your game user settings.ini file. And if you're watching this, you're probably most likely trying to find it and change some settings either for the purpose of a mod or you're trying to download somebody else's settings, which are the actual settings you'll find in a single player setting or as well as a multiplayer server, which will be these settings that you see here when you click host. Now, in order to download somebody else's settings like perhaps mine right over here, which I used in a video recently to make a nice beginner experience for a player who's getting started without having to copy every single thing that I click here, you just have to update two files and you will have everything the same as I do. So in order to find these files, I recommend you open up Steam where you have the game installed and right click on the game and go manage browse local files and from here you'll see it is in your steam folder wherever your steam's installed steam apps common and arc but this takes you there directly so from here we're going to go into shooter game we're going to go into saved remember this one saved then it's going to be config windows no editor now for reference there you can see at the top here the order shooter game saved config windows no editor and you'll see here this is the only place you're going to find a game.ini and a game user settings dot any. If your computer doesn't show the any, it's probably just because you don't have the the um, the end pieces added on or like sh as set to show. Don't worry if you don't see the dot any because I just have a setting that shows me all of the ex extensions of all the files of every single file. Your computer might be set to hiding those. So as long as you see a file here that says game or game user settings, you're in the right place. Now these are going to replicate exactly what you had in the game, your exact settings. So if you actually want to back up your settings because you wanted to try something different, I recommend actually just taking these two, copying them, putting in them in a folder on your desktop called backup so that you don't lose them. Or you can even just do it in here like this. For example, I'm just going to do just do backup over here and we're going to copy these two and we're going to drag them in there and we're going to keep them there for later in case we somehow change something here and we don't like it and we want to get our originals back from the backup. I always advocate for making backups. Now, if you wanted the settings that I used, for example, there is this link here. They'll be shared in the description. This is my ARC settings that I use for a nice beginner playthrough. And you'll see here the two files are here and you can actually just download these and just throw them directly into this folder here, replacing these two files. And you'll open up the game and you'll have my exact settings to the T as what they're loaded as. Now, if you want to go a bit more into depth, you might have seen somebody share something where they have a bunch of text and you're like, okay, you gotta, you got to somehow add that in, right? So it might be a game.ini one or a game user settings. Now, we're just going to go up into this first one here. I'm going to open it up with Notepad++. You can use regular Notepad if you will. I just prefer using Plus because it's a little bit more, you know, um, advanced. And then from here, you'll see a huge amount of stuff happening. For a regular person, this will be insane and crazy. Even for me, it's like I, there's a lot going on here that might be very hard to understand. Essentially, these are just the different setting options, like allow flyer speed leveling set to false. If you want to change this to true, you can do it to true. But these are also the same settings that you could find in the game. But not all of the settings in the game are actually in the game. Like you can actually go to the server configuration wiki and you can find a ton of different arguments arguments, which are lines of text that you add into this thing to kind of change how you're going to like modify the game. So these are extra settings that aren't always in the game itself. So if you're looking for something specific or something specific in a video, you're probably going to find stuff like this and be able to just, you know, add it in. Now, if you are going to add it in, generally always add it in to the bottom of your list. So this is all the top here. Go straight to the bottom over here, right over here in this area. This is where you're going to paste the new line of text as you add extra ones if you so choose to. But perhaps you found like a, a YouTuber settings for, for like a mod pack or something or just their game mode that they're doing. A couple of YouTubers have done it before and you can see here in this game any this file, like they, the, the text is all posted here. All you have to do is select all of it from like the Steam page over here, the Steam like post. You copy it down to here. You can see it continues down further onwards, which we're going to add on. We're just going to copy this. We're going to go here and this one starts straight from the top. So we're actually going to replace everything. So control V straight to the top there and there, just go a little bit to the left. Oh, there we go. So now we go all the way down to the bottom and we go here and we go back into this document and then we copy the rest of this. There you can see that it can be it can be a lot and to try and understand it is almost impossible if you don't know what you're doing. Um, I'm just going to drag this all the way to the left again. Essentially, I'm going to be making my settings the same as this one over here and I think this is the last one. 
this this one changes the amount of engram points that you get per every single level up that you get, by the way. And we copy this, go here, and we paste that. Now that is essentially how you put it in here and you just keep it just like that, almost in just one clean line, everything separated like this. You don't wanna have any spaces at the beginning of any of these. You generally just want them to start in a, a like a, every new line starts immediately the next one, kind of like this. Um, Notepad++ will actually highlight it in blue to show you that it's actually like a command or argument of sorts. So it just makes it seem like um, you can track it better so that you know it didn't mess up because if it was just in full black text the entire way, like for example, if there was nothing like that and it was just the, the black text, you know that this one probably doesn't actually work. And then all you have to do is go save your any file, close it. And of course it does come with the game user settings as well. So you might not just be with the game any, you would have to change this one as well. Cause this is the, the more advanced settings as well. It's like the other side of it. And you can add the rest into there. And then when you open up your game, you should have effectively changed your game any and your game user settings to match whatever you're trying to copy or make them act as. I hope this guide was able to help you change your game any and your game user settings to, to match whatever settings you were trying to use. And I hope it worked. If you do have any problems, leave a comment down below. If you do have any problems, leave a comment down below. I do reply to every single one. And thank you so much for watching.